Okay, in this video uh, I'm going to show you the connections feature within Axiom which has been uh, changed and updated and vastly improved. You'll remember that in the old connections feature it ran straight after processing uh, and this could take the processing time or increase it considerably. Um, the difference now is that it is now a manual option after you process so it's a, a, a process you trigger once in examine and further to that there's been vast improvements made to the length it takes to do um, the connections feature so if I just open a case that has not had connections uh, enabled on it uh, and this is a case that I've just processed but you'll see here that there's no connection icons down the right hand side so now do the connections feature it's in tools and build connections and you just select that and then you'll see this in the bottom left you can click view details and that took two seconds uh, I'm not going to say it's going to take two seconds for uh, all cases but th this is a really small case and you can see the indicator and view details in the bottom left if you click close and you'll now see that the connections features have been enabled uh, and if I go back to a case which does have uh, some better connection detail on it so if I go to Excel documents here uh, and then if I go to this file here and then I can click on the connections feature here and then here we can see uh, all the associated activity with that file and as you can see there's uh, quite a bit of activity in this one and you notice as well that it, it also exists in a, a shadow copy now, uh, this case I did, I did add uh, a shadow copy instance as well uh, of the same machine and you can see that it, it, it has pulled it out of those shadow copies as well. And uh, this is the connections feature. Now, you can zoom in, zoom out and you know you can move these nodes around j just to make it a bit more easier to read. And you can move around these nodes so what you see here is not what you get totally or um, uh, fully you, you do have the option to move around so if I go to um, we can see here that the file has been associated with the um, Excel application so if I highlight over that we can you can double click on that to make that the primary node and then you can see here uh, the files that are associated with the program if I just go back to a, another file uh, let's find a, another one I go to this one here and then click on that again different information this one hasn't got a, a volume shadow copy but we, we do now know that it's been downloaded from this website um, now I can either make that the primary node by double clicking on it or you can hover over it and it will um, show you the uh, next nodes you can see here in the top right -hand corner here that it's associated with the uh, application Chrome so if I double click on that you can see that it's associated with the Chrome application and obviously if I hover over the Chrome application that will be the websites that have been um, associated uh, with the Chrome application if I go back here and if I go to the file path one we also get some shell bag 
um, information as well here on the right hand side so that's a good indicator that, uh, that the window has been open um, for that file like I say you can move around node there's some uh, instructions um, at the bottom here tips for navigating the path and like here modified by someone called Alan or Dave Johnson to save a node all you do is just click on it with the left button hold it down and that is now a saved node so if I go back to the artifact view but then go back to connections view it, it's still there and then you can also if you wanted to drop that in a, a report as an appendix you can print uh, and obviously print it as like a, an electronic PDF or you can uh, cut and paste the screen and, and do it that way so that is a, a basic overview of the connections feature um, which is now um, processed within examine through this option here.